Hi right, everyone, so looking at the dragons, dragons ports, uh, this is a nice little armor, that's called the dragons crown sorcerer outfit kind of thing, so we're going to be checking this out, had a bunch of update, it has, it has sorceress outfits, the costumes are a craftable any forge in the iron section, so it does look pretty good as I've already checked it out, it's at any forge on the iron like it says, requires a UMP body, XP32, bunch of credits right there, tools used and a bunch of other stuff right there anyway uh, a few things to mention the hat is kind of weird so honestly uh, uh, when I use the hat I'm just like um, okay like it just appears it the front looks fine it just messes up with any kind of hair honestly but anyway I'll talk about that more later. But anyway, if you go under iron, there's going to be the Sorcerer's Corset, had the outfit, the shoes. So I don't remember I have any shoes in my inventory, but I'll get the skirt and you get the thong. This is weird when I ever say thong, but I guess it just does not work if you don't. It doesn't work right if you don't have the thong. Because, you know, it changes everything else. But anyway, like I said, this is all right here. And all you have to do is. Go on to this, and you can just click on outfit because uh, and wear the shoes and the hat because this will include all three of these together to throw the outfit on you, uh, minus the shoes and the hat. So it's kind of interesting. So you don't have to worry about putting all this stuff on. But the corset gives all spells cost 15% less to cast, and magic regenerates 100% faster. So it is pretty good for you know your magic, magical needs, and stuff like that for your characters. And same for the actual outfit as it goes together, because it does include this. But onto the actual outfit, like I said, the hat is kind of weird. Because if you want to wear it, you might want to get like a really short hairstyle or something, I guess, not as poofy. We'll, we'll go in the, um, we'll try to look for a hat that's not as hair that actually works. But, I don't know, sometimes I'm just like, just don't wear the hat. Well, it does look good with the hat, so... Anyway, or you might want to try, I don't know, because it's not working too well for me, like, for the hat, like, for my hairstyles, but I've been switching between them, and I am using a UNP body, so, and XP32, so it's kind of confusing why it's not wanting to work, but this is what it's going to look like. It looks pretty nice. I love it. It's awesome, and this would look really good on my character, and, you know, besides the obvious hair sticking out the back, it's fine. From the front, it looks really good, honestly. If you look behind it like this, that looks really good. And I do like the way it looks. So, honestly, we could see if there's any way we can change it up to see if we can um, make it look better. Uh, so because we can always try to see if we can get the hat to actually fit right. So it does fit on high elves. It does work for that hairstyle right there. Wait, never mind. But it does work better. A bit better. Uh, let's try this Imperial. Alright, like I said, if you go... Yeah, that hairstyle works decently. Like, if we go, let's say... Let's see, what can we do with our hairstyle? Hmm. Some of these work and some of them don't. Like some of them work better than the others. Hopefully that's a problem that's fixed. Before the had the hair just um, the hat just didn't work at all, so it's better than nothing. Or we could just not wear a hat. I mean, uh, wear a uh, hairstyle, which I always just do like to wear a hairstyle though, so because it does look really good on uh, you know your character. Or she could just wear a black uh, hairstyle like this and just, you know, have your character look like this in the front and don't have to worry about the back. So, it's whatever you prefer. If you're really nitpicky, it's going to be a problem. But I'm not super nitpicky and this could be fine right here. I do like the way this looks. 
So um, I probably would keep my character like this. And I think she looks fine. Like, it doesn't even look that bad. Like, all you do is look up there. It's not really a big issue to me. Uh, just be, might be me, if, but tell me if you guys this is happening to you. Um, if it's just me, tell me how I could fix it, obviously. Um, I just been, I switched to, like, um, UMP mods, stuff like that. Just make sure my, everything was okay. Um, I just want to make sure it's me, n not, like, me. Might be one of, like, something that messes with my face or something. But, just tell me, like, if it's you or, I mean, if it's me, I mean, not if it's you, if it's everyone or it's just me, you know. Anyway, that's pretty much the mod. So next mod we're going to check out is Easy Crafting. And this one's pretty easy. It's just a nice little cheating mod that allows you to get easy ingredients uh, for your character and stuff like that. So it makes uh, everything uh, getting makes everything able to be crafted at uh, the, what is called the smithing thing, whatever it's called. Uh, I'll get in a second. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but it's the big round thing that where you sm smelt ores, the smelter, probably just called the smelter, I'm pretty dumb. But anyway, you will get smithing XP, so it's pretty easy. But this is just adds a ton of like, you know, random ingredients and stuff like that you can craft for free that normally would be really hard to get or something like that that are just not as common. But there's a ton of stuff you can see all the ingredients right here all the random stuff you can get and we'll just be checking out what we can see so it's like yeah you have to like run around in dungeons and stuff like that and it can be really annoying so you don't want to worry about that you can just go to smelter and then uh there is the arrows that are free too especially stall arm arrows that's those are probably really hard to craft i don't know what the must be obviously it requires uh, stall room so that's Definitely pretty expensive. So then you got like amethyst, amethyst. They require nothing to craft. With your old nice little Nordic arrows. Not Nordic, nor arrows. Bear pelts, so you don't have to go around slaughtering a ton of bears. I guess that's a lot easier than, yeah, obviously just running around slaughtering bears, trying to track them down. Um, soul gems, blue mountain flowers, flowers, don't have to go around picking them. Um, bone meal, obviously. Briar Heart. I, I don't know if those things are hard to get. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that's just hard to get in the game. Then it's like either craft it with ore or get it for free. It's funny. It's just, so, Daedric Heart's pretty good too because you use that for Daedric Armor. Um, you got the Daedric Arrows for free. Deer Hide. So, it's just a simple little cheating mod that just makes everything easy to craft. But if you're not like a person that wants to, you know, cheat a lot in the games, uh, obviously this is not a mod for you. It's obviously not lower friendly. It's not um, player. It's not like if you want to be like realistic with your playthrough, immersive or something like that. That's this is mod for mod for you, obviously. But yeah, it's a ton of stuff you can craft up. Wait, can you? Wait, did I see gold coin in here? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm making gold. This is the easiest way to make money. Look, guys, just make your money like this. Okay, I am obviously rich now. Write down, everyone. That is how you make money. To go to a smelter, you just click on gold and say make money. Well, everyone, that's pretty much it for these mods. We got those few mods. And we get the cool little witch armor that we got on currently. Well, the witch sorcerer set. Could be a sorcerer. And the ingredients you need to craft this thing, you can be, you use a smelter mod to grab up some free ingredients instead of running all over the world to get them. Or you can just be like me and just grab them from this cheat room. But I'm just saying, if you don't use cheat room and you, you actually use an actual forge in the game, that's a good idea. But anyway, everyone, that is pretty much it for the video. Like I said, get some cool smelting iron items, the witch sorceress thing. You can obviously download these in the description. But anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much in the video. And yeah, I'd love for you guys to like and subscribe. 
and I can just continue making a lot of random Skyrim videos and Fallout videos. But when I talk about Fallout, this is Skyrim. Because I have no idea how many of my viewers that actually watch Skyrim actually watch Fallout too. So I should do a poll on that sometime. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, like, subscribe, and uh, recommend any mods you want me to, you know, review or look at. Or if they're your mods, you could be like, yeah, um, throw me a link or something, or just tell me what mod you want me to review, and that'd be great. So, see you guys in another video.